So how did that witch extract Oscar's blood and white liquid? Hmm? Was it during when he was sleeping? I'm sure it was. But like while he was sleeping, how does it come out? Because like no matter what, it only comes out in one direction, right? You have to like, like it, it's nut. So like even with magic, it, you, you can't just like magically just like, all right, give me your nut and it just appears there. It had to flow through. Did that happen? Anybody read the manga or the light novel? I'm asking the wrong question. What even was happening last episode? Uh, something about choking Tinasha. <laughs> no, there was no explanation. There were some sussy ass things happening. Uh, we met a new witch. She's kind of friends with Tinasha. Uh, we were talking about the life force, which I mistakenly thought it was like sperm count, but it, anyone could have, you know, understood that wrong. Besides that, I think it was to kind of get Tinasha and Oscar a little bit more together, right? And other than that, there was some more plot important shit. There was the existence of these two people, one girl, one guy. And they're like the guardians of time or history. And they kind of like make sure that the order of timelines is correct in different histories or eras. I forget the exact terminology he used. And there's this long white haired dude who's apparently Tinasha is looking for. And apparently in all timelines or all histories, he treats her arrogantly. What is up with that? Why would Tinasha want to find him? And does he somehow relate to... The great grandfather that was mentioned in episode one. Probably not, but like, what if? Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> oh, it's that girl that looks like Nobara from Jujutsu Kaisen. He's not even using. Oh, Tinasha, you. Get in there. Tinasha, get in there. Tinasha, I see a sword. Tinasha, you should get in there and fight him, bro. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, get over here. Spar. Let's go. Oh, shit. What do you mean? Wait, wait. Has he, is this to show us that he's actually become stronger before? I don't know. That, that comment right there. How powerful will this man become? Tinasha understands that he is strong. Has he grown stronger from the previous episode? Is this the training session kind of show off that he has become significantly stronger after getting his nut and blood extracted? I don't think he would kill you. The legendary sword, anti magic sword. Oh, this soundtrack. <laughs> A breath of life into image. I guess it did fight got off screen, but you can see a little bit of the injury boo boo on his arms. So I guess Tinasha won there. Tinasha Jo mo denka mo. Maho o kinsetsen ni tsukau to anna. Zen o kenshi toka ni makasete. She does like melee. Oki na maho o utsu mon daro. Ken de kogeki. Watashi ni wa kanojo ga denka o tameshite ru. Toyu ka oshiete ru kanji mo shita wa. Tete shi. He can see them. Are normal people not- Normal people can't see that? Something about that magic vine was supposed to be invisible to most people, but he could see it. Fight in close quarters, huh? Maybe in bed later. Oh, oh, oh. Does she? いいえ。呪いを解いたりとかね。妻になってくれれば、それでいいぞ。断る。グレイグラマ。あの、グレイグラマ カガール。魔女様をご紹介いただければすぐ退出させていただきます。あれ。お。お。This is uh yeah, you haven't introduced yourself. Yeah, yeah, what, what's your name? General Etard. Oscar's maid. Miralis. 
Do we know that name from somewhere? Miraris. I don't think so, right? It's a completely new character, unrelated to any plot that we've had so far, right? Right? Miraris. Why does that sound familiar? Different anime? I'm just going crazy. Huh? That aura! She glows. The real reason. Is that the other witch? It is. Yeah, does she just show up here for tea party now? Alright. She was like coaching you. Other witches are obviously wary of him getting stronger because he could technically kill them. Why? Nice to have someone who could kill me if anything happens. Does it all relate to that white haired guy, the long dude? For that person, I think this is the white haired guy, yeah. Last episode, this is him right here, yeah. What's the connection there? She said yes without thinking about it. She served someone else before in their IT. Is this her past life? If this is like a VTuber's old, you know, stuff? And she's like, no. I'm no longer that girl anymore. I'm a different model. What's going on? She used to be IT. Now her new name is Tinasha. What is this shit? Restore the rights of mages. Persecuted and tidy. Different nations, different rules regarding mages. Sounds like a different nation. Somehow got some stuff under order. They want to raise their mages and they want to utilize Lady IT as the plot. それ以上でもそれ以下でも取り出したからですよ。それなのにどうして私が塔を登ってきてもな、しなければならないんです。True。しかし、消えなさい。Damn。くそ。あの名を出せばついてくると思った。I turned so quick, bro. She was very observant of the way Tinasha was looking at Oscar, implying that she may love Oscar himself. Maybe she's jealous. And if there's some kind of jealousy there, maybe this guy can use her to get them kind of, you know, in the way, maybe. Lucrezia. So. Eh? Mage Nation. North? Magical lake? What's Noana doing? Oh god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Yo! That red hair guy was kind of clutch there! Look, look, look! He deflected Tinasha's dagger while holding up Nobara. He was faster than Oscar here. <laughs> Deceiving men's heart. <laughs> Did the guy tell her that Tinashe is lying to Oscar? Never desired anyone's heart. Okay, it's my control. It's not just lie. Cause you stole my sperm! You took my nut and blood! The least you can do is that. What's the price? <laughs> you want another round? You want another vial? <laughs> what do you want from me, bro? <laughs> Never. I don't cry. That means Oscar will make her cry one day. Now for the payments. Go to Oscar's room. Why we come back all the way out here? More training? She's training him up so that he can one day kill him? Or is she preparing him for something else? She fucks him up and she heals him. So that you can one day kill me. I 
I feel like somehow in this show, we're definitely... Tinashe might die. We might accidentally kill her for whatever reason. And then we're going to have to redo something in a different timeline. Like multiverse theory stuff. Ever since that guy was introduced, ever since like the Guardians of Time was introduced, and now that she's talking about shit like this, I feel like we're not going to just stay in this one current history or timeline. This show is called Unnamed Memories, right? Unnamed Memories. How does that relate to the theme of this show? Unnamed Me memory of who? Tinashe's memories? I don't fucking know. Hmm. Maybe in every path, Oscar will pursue Tinashe. This is domestic abuse. She just wasted like a Pokemon master. She just waits there until Oscar teleports. She just closes her eyes. She's a literal Pokemon master gym leader. This is an interesting training montage. Wait, Lucrezia. Okay, I thought Lucrezia might show up by the bedside or something. It would imply that she's back for some next payment. Wouldn't that be funny? If we just saw just like some shadow of Lucrezia. It's like, oh, there she is. You said it would cost a lot, right? 2v1 now. But he can see it. Magic vine. It looked kind of invisible. Mental state affects your fighting, meaning sometimes he can't see, sometimes he can't because of the composition. Rest at the top. Oh, he's gonna fall on her. What's she doing? That ain't dinner. What's she making? It doesn't seem... Yeah, she doesn't really seem to care about the fuck. Yeah, that was right in the hips. <laughs> oh, you're, you're now. Was that just making tea? thought she was doing something in the cauldron. What kind of tea is she making for us? I feel like this is also part of the training. Oh? We gotta abandon the anti-magic sword to use magic. Cut the fire! Find the weak spot of the fire. Just fucking swing it around, bro. I don't know. Mario no. Imada! The linchpin! Whatever the fuck that means. The origin source of the spell. If you take it out, the rest of it goes down. <gasps> he is the chosen one. Oh, there's the humans. <laughs> are, are they new challengers to the tower? Right. Right, people do attempt to tower. Now, we're, we're doing a training session. How do we explain to them that, you know, th th this is the witch right here? They just opened up. We're like the first floor, right? We should, like, roleplay and be like, Yo, Kuso! Welcome to the tower. I am Oscar. You must defeat me to climb the tower. And then he'll, like, fuck him up and send him home. <laughs> yeah, you gotta defeat this guy, yeah. You want your wish granted? Oh my god, Majoka! <laughs> This is probably harder than climbing the entire tower, right? 5v1! That means you can cut them up all you want. <laughs> I want to see a gruesome fight. Don't you dare cliffhanger me. Don't you dare cliffhanger me! I mean, that was kind of predictable, but it is what it is. Now we're going to finish it. Do you want to win? Nah, I'd win. Wouldn't it be fun if we knew now? Oh, that's not our familiar, is it? Messaging cat? Okay, 200 mages in that independent nation. Spirit sorcerer. I guess it does seem like that, huh? Like an entire nation, if only like kingdoms have like, you know, 20 mages at best, and in this one place, they all gather, and they're trying to go independent. 
I guess it would seem like that. Like they're declaring war on everybody. It's like, no, we're gonna be our own sovereign state. Don't fuck with us. Demons as well. Could it be that white haired dude? From the last episode, the one Tinashe is looking for? Hmm. What? 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 Uh, you dead? I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember General Etard. General Etard? Oh, it relates to Mirales' intro. Some important mentor, huh? Seems like a really good person. Just never saw him before, you know? <laughs> this more fucking clip? I, 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 like, a witch should not be dying before a human with their lifespan, but like, it just keeps going, oh, one day he might kill me, oh, I want you to have options, oh, I'm gonna train you, don't you die before me. It just seems like the stage is being set for Oscar to kill Tinasha for some reason. Oh! <laughs>、え、<laughs> Nothing. He's just too young for her, I guess. Everyone does that! Half a year. So six months has passed, huh? Six months. We've already halfway through this demo, you know, fucking wife trial right now. <laughs> Lazar. L. Azar. Whoa, magic! Okay. Stop time, but I can't earn time back. It's like a very interesting mechanic, okay? Hmm. That felt somewhat very important, huh? Can't go back in time, can only pause time. All living things share the same fate of death. Does this somehow relate to what we know about the uh, potential parallel dimensions, histories? I don't know. I don't know. But this episode, the things that she's saying, you know, kind of has to do with time, inevitability, death. Like, ah, I don't know. What are we setting up for? What's this? Magical nation. Is that Mirales? I can't tell. That's Mirales, right? Yo, 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 yo! Cause like, before we saw Tinasha looking at Mirales and she was like glowing with some kind of mana. So this is a true personality? What did she say? You've got some nerve showing yourself here. Your lord killed him in front of my eyes. I thought Lord Etard kind of died by natural causes. I'm assuming the killed him part, the person that died is her master. Your lord killed him? Or maybe I'm misunderstanding. Redo it all. That's sin. I'm confused. <laughs> this is Mirales, right? This is not some kind of twin, right? It's not a tart? I don't know, but this is the maid. This is, you know... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold the fuck up. What is that beast on the left side? Did we not fight this thing? Hold the fuck up. What is going on here? Your lord... We, 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 she has a beat. I'm confused. I'm so fucking confused. We already killed that demon before. That's a different thing, right? Oh! Okay, okay. No, no. It makes sense. 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 Your lord... Your lord... Has to be the white-haired guy. And the white-haired guy killed the two people. No, no, no. She killed a guy. Right? The guy got killed by the white-haired dude. Remember? Right? There was two people that picked up the gem. Those are like the timekeepers, right? And then there was a girl and a guy. That guy, guy got killed by the white-haired dude. And I, and I guessed before, like, what if, like, the, the, the person that leads the mage nation here is, like, the white-haired dude? <laughs> Goddamn, Miralis! And that's the episode. Besides all the goddamn flags that hints at Tinashe's death or something bad happening, the important thing at the very end, so Miralis is a, a, a normal maid, not really. 
And the guy that killed, it doesn't have to do with Lothar Tart. It has to do with the white-haired mage in the last episode, the long-haired one that Tinas is trying to find and how he killed one of the two people that were like the gatekeepers of time, right? That's why she's out here to do that. Meaning Miralis is also like some kind of timekeeper. Some kind of like um, one, one of those people. I don't know the exact terminology, but you know, the people that tries to maintain the flow of time. Maybe that's why Tinasha also recognized her and she was glowing with Aura. I don't really know, but that's kind of my guess of what's, what's going on. So other than that, it's just it, it, it's just been a training arc. Tinasha's training um, Oscar up for what? I think that she said she wants him to have options so that one day something happens. You don't feel like a path is just blocked. This kind of hints more about how she might die one day. She, we even say, like, don't you dare die before me. So Tinashe is 100% going to die. Maybe at the hands of Oscar due to some fucked up reason or something else. But also, maybe that implies that we can have different timelines to jump to. I don't know. I think that they're going to start introducing this, like, different timeline, maybe multiverse mechanic. But they also did mention, you know, the flow of passage of time. I cannot rewind time. I can only pause it. But could you not maybe instead of just like, instead of like, if you have this one single plane of time, right? Instead of just like going back in time and just pausing it here, why don't we have like a different passage of time that we can like jump to? Does, does that work? Am I making sense? Is this arm analogy making sense? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more, more content. And until next time, take care.